and welcome to your Friday One Show live on BBC One and I play with Jermaine Genius. And Alex Jones, uh, right, tonight. It's full, so it doesn't matter. Lots to look forward to, but we are starting tonight with a very emotional story, so tissues at the ready. Now, it's all about losing a loved one, which, of course, is a hugely difficult time for everybody involved. Yeah, and one person who's helping many in this situation is nine-year-old Matilda from Nottinghamshire. She lost her grandma in 2017 and came up with a beautiful way of dealing with her grief. Here's her story. Grandma's personality was very funny, cheeky a bit. <laughs> I was very close to my mum. I used to go around every Sunday to have lunch with her. When mum used to come to pick me up, we used to be on the chair swing eating clippos. <laughs> when my mum passed away, I definitely didn't expect it. I had tons of memories with her and I was upset that I couldn't make any more. Matilda was only four when my mum passed away. I don't think she understood. She always expected her to come back. She didn't understand that she's never coming back anymore. And that that's when she really struggled with not being able to see her. So Matilda found inspiration from her grandma's job to remain connected. My mum used to work in a post office and she wishes to say, I have my own post box here. So I said, if she had one then, why can't she have one now? When Matilda first asked about having a postbox for my mum so she could send letters to her in heaven, it was really emotional because you want to keep your mum's memory alive. When I started working at Gedling Crematorium, I thought it was a perfect place for that to go. I went to the big bosses to say, is this something we can do? And they loved it. We unveiled it just before Christmas, and just after Christmas, we had over 100 letters in there. I write tons of I miss you letters. I wish you could be here with me letters, stuff like that. Knowing that other people are using the post box, it makes me feel really good because I know that it's gonna help tons of other people. Matilda's Letters to Heaven replica post box has been so popular that the crematorium is now installing more of them across their sites in the UK. They are solely for grieving families who visit here to connect with their loved ones. My mum was absolutely fantastic. Loved the absolute socks off her. She was my hero, basically. We've got a seven-year-old son that we've got to explain this to. What does it say to a seven-year-old that's just lost a nanny? We come up every couple of weeks to see my mum, put fresh flowers down, and we always bring a letter up then. It makes you feel quite emotional when you write the letter. I have cried when I've, when I've uh, wrote them. It stops you keeping it all in. You can just say she's reading that now. We can't tell you how much we miss you. You're in our hearts always and forever. Ian. Someone else who is benefiting from the post box is Janet, who lost both of her parents in the last two years. So I couldn't wait to go home and write the letter. Such a nice idea to be able to give people an opportunity to write to anybody that you need to. For me, to write to my mum and dad is just keeping that connection going, to be able to let them know that they're not forgotten. It doesn't make me sad to do it, it just makes me happy that I can do it. I feel that it's helping me grieve. Hi Mum and Dad, as always I'm missing you both very much and always will. We are all doing well and the girls are keeping good. If you have lost a loved one, it doesn't have to be a birthday or an anniversary, it can just be the fact that you're missing them and you're having a sad day. Write your feelings down. Dear Mama, I miss you loads and wish you could be here with me. You are so amazing. I know Mum misses you and we are always talking about you. We miss you loads. I love you. Lots of love, Matilda. Oh, what an incredible young girl, eh? I'm just glad we saw that in yeah. rehearsal, otherwise I would be in bits yeah. now. Mate. It's lovely, isn't it? It is, it is. And if you'd like more information or support on bereavement, go to the BBC's Action Line. The details that you need are on the screen now.